Hi everyone, this is Carla from Written Word Calligraphy and today we are going to test out again the quill pen. So we are going to be reusing some of the foil that we've used the other day um, and I am going to show you how I do that um, because there's just a lot of extra space here and we want to make sure that we make most of it. And today we're going to be writing on vegan leather so this one is our key holder on our other company Larkin knives so we um, our studio manager Brooke actually designed this product and um, we really love it as a keychain it's a really um, flexible keychain because you can uh, personalize it with one of our monograms just like this one um, and or you can get it personalized like what we're going to be doing right now. I'm be going to be gifting this to one of my good friends, Camille. Um, and so I'm I want to be able to write her name right here and so that she could hold it with the rest of her keys and be able to have that ready. So in order to get started, you'll need obviously the foil quill pen. So this one is the fine tip point. I am not using the... Um, the the calligraphy one. Sorry if you hear my little one. He's just laughing over there with my husband. Um, I have it um, charging with the battery pack. So that's actually how it's powered. So it's not um, wireless. And, and then of course the foil. Um, typically you would use the, um, you'll cut out a piece that you need. But since we have a ton of extra, this is what I have. A little bit of washi tape to secure the foil, a pair of scissors, and of course the material. So we're going to be using the keychain for this particular exercise. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so we are going to cut a little piece of leftover foil. I think this should be enough. I hope you can see kind of what I'm doing right now. Because the um, the width of the keychain is not even that long, you don't need a ton of foil because you don't also want to run into the edges um, of the foil. So here's a, a piece. I actually think it's a little bit too long. Um, let me... Let me make it a little bit shorter. All right. And then since this tape kind of is long enough, I could secure that on here and then just add a little bit more. <laughs> That's the beauty about washi tape too, is that you can always remove it. And it looks gorgeous. I have quite a large collection of them and honestly I need to use them more I just haven't had an opportunity and now I have tons of use for my um washi tape so here we are so the foil quill pen needs about five minutes to warm up and now it's about five minutes so I'm gonna get started um so you do want to make sure that the uh, foil is in the spot you need it to be so actually i am going to just reposition this a little bit more because it's it wasn't quite in the middle i am not using any measuring tools right now because it's small enough for me to do but i would recommend getting a measurement if you need to do something fairly large so i'm just going to write her name right here We really love this tool for the instantness of it. Um, it still requires some preparation for sure, but it's just so nice to be able to um, engrave onto something um, permanently. It's great, I think, for like events. And yeah, we just love using it. So now we peel it off. And there we have it. We have Camille's um, very own key holder that is now foiled with my lettering. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video.